Okay, this is how to RNG manipulate for a shiny starter on an emulator for Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, this is my second take at recording this video because I input my TID the, uh, the wrong way the first time. Oh my god, I entered my TID wrong. Crap. So I kind of just scrapped that recording to start over. So, uh, we have you want to use the emulator MGBA. We're going to go to File, Load ROM. MGBA ROMs. This ROMs folder shouldn't be here by default, I don't think. Uh, I just created it to put my ROMs there, but you can store your ROMs wherever. Uh, and we want to open up rngstarter.gba. Now, this is just a fire red ROM that I renamed for the purpose of this video. Uh, it doesn't have to be a specific name for this to work. It just has to be a fire red or leaf green ROM. Uh, so we're going to open this. We're going to speed through some of this. And you will see that... Oh, did not want to do that. I'm already at the area where I need to claim my starter. So from here, we need to do tools, scripting, file, load script, and you're going to want to load the script that is in the description of this video, which will restart our game, which is fine. And we're going to do a little bit of this, and we are going to speed through this and get back to where we can select a Pokemon, because for the first step, we need to know what our trainer ID and secret ID are. So let's minimize this. Let's open up PokeFinder, Gen 3, Wild. It'll open up this, and we need to go to Manager and create a new profile. Since I'm playing Fire Red, I select version Fire Red. Profile name, you can name it whatever. I'm just naming it the same as my character's name. So we're back here, and we need to, we need to choose any Pokemon. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to save, it'll be fine. We're just doing this to find out what our trainer ID and secret ID are. So my trainer ID and secret ID are right over here, so let's enter those. My trainer ID is 24540 uh, and my SID is 301.69. Uh, scanning over to make sure I didn't mess it up again. Nope, that's right. And then we hit OK. And then from here, we're just going to do Control R to restart our game. And we are going to close out of this menu now. And we're going to go back to PokeFinder. We're going to make sure that our the profile we just created is selected. And we are going to... Oh, did I get a Gen 3 Wild? Oh my god. Uh... What you want to do, you don't want to do Gen 3 Wild. You want to do Gen 3 Static. Uh, doesn't Our profile still here. I just clicked the wrong one. Uh, from here, we want to go to... It's already on starters. You just want to select the starter you're going for. I'm going for Charmander, so I'm going to select Charmander. And we're going to go to Shiny. Select Star Square. And we're going to tab back into our game. Now, once you're on this menu, and you click the A button to continue to the next one, you're... Well, whenever the next screen shows up, your initial seed is generated. So whenever you see the initial seed in the top right change from 000 to an actual like seed, you want to pause your game. So I'm going to I'm going to click on the screen to get through it and we're going to pause right there. B134 is our seed. So we're going to go back to PokeFinder, type in B134 and we're going to put our delay as 3 and we're going to hit generate. Now this time my advances are pretty far out, and we don't want that. We don't want to wait forever. So instead, we just unpause the game, do Control R again to reload it. We're going to get to the menu and generate a new seed. So our new seed is 0172. So we're going to go back to Gen 3 Static, type in 0172, and generate. Now that's still not good. So I'm going to do it again until we get a good one. So hopefully, this one's a better A91A. Let's see. A nine one A generate seven one six seven. I can mark with that. So from here, we're gonna move this to the side, and we are going to progress through the game just a little bit. And we're gonna get right here. We're gonna accept our Pokemon, and then right here, we're gonna want to create a save state. So once our advances in the top right is equal to our advances right here we're going to want to hit a to click off of this text box and we'll get our shiny pokemon but 
Uh, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to speed up the footage. Okay, and as you get closer to your seed, you want to manually pause it. You don't want to just try and pause on your seed, because you can do Control-P to pause the game, and then you can do Control-N to manually advance the frames yourself, so that way you don't accidentally miss it. So 7, 1, 4, I need 7, 1, 6, 7, 7, 1, 6, 7, and from here, you want to hold down your A button. For me, I think the default bind is the X key on your keyboard. You want to hold down your A button. You want to press Control and then press P while holding, still holding down the A button. Because what this does is it unpauses the game. And then as soon as it unpauses the game, it'll click the text box. So you're clicking it on the exact frame. So let's do it. And you can already see up here, it's shiny. But I'll show you in game just to prove. So, no nickname. And from here, we're going to go open up our menu, click here, and there's our shiny. So, there's not much to it. I kind of stumbled over the explanation at some part in this video, so sorry if it was a little confusing. But I hope that helps to anyone else trying to figure this out, because it was kind of a pain trying to learn it myself to do it on an emulator. But yeah, uh, that's all. Uh, hope that helped.